Hi, my name is Bernadette Cranmer and I am the IB Diploma Program Coordinator and I've made this video for you this evening so that you could have an understanding about some of the changes that we're doing to our master schedule to make sure that we have classes as accessible as possible to as many students as possible at Granite Bay High School. So these are some changes that we've already done for this year but we've got even more changes for next year and I just want to be clear about that. So first up, is that uh, all courses are now part of Granite Bay High School's 4x4. So previously we had some students blocked like chemistry, psych, uh, history, English, uh, visual art, and students would take those over the entire school year from August until May and it would be blocked with another course. That locks students into taking certain classes or locks students out of taking certain classes and so we have unblocked all of the classes. So now all students who take IB courses will just be like the rest of our AP and CP courses at Granite Bay. Nothing else will be blocked for next year. So all students will have uh, fewer classes to worry about at a time. They'll just have four at a time. Any IB students who are completing uh, SL1 and 2 or HL1 and 2 courses, they'll do those in one term just like all the CP and the AP courses. So we do have, though, a couple of courses that will now be one-term courses instead of two-term courses. So our IB World Religions SL class and our IB Business Management SL class used to have a class in the fall and the spring, and now it will just be one class, either the fall or the spring. All of our other courses will still continue to have an SL 1 and 2 or an HL 1 and 2. But these two will open up your schedule because if you were interested in World Religions or Business Management, it would just take half the year instead of the whole year. We're also co-seeding AP U.S. History and History of the Americas HL1. We started that this year uh, and we're continuing it next year. And this means that there are many more class periods available for History of the Americas HL1. So that allows students to, to uh, have an opportunity to take classes that might be singletons, that they, for instance, they might not have been able to take advantage of a CTE program or an engineering class or something like that, that might've been offered at the same time as the History of the Americas HL1. Now they'll be able to do that. Both our IB Visual Art HL and IB Chemistry HL class uh, has a little bit of different schedule than the rest of our classes. The HL2 courses will be in the fall. The HL1 classes will be in the spring. And we do that so that the visual art students have more time to complete their, their uh, works, their process portfolio, their comparative study, because those have to be turned in starting in March. And that way, if they do them in the fall, they'll be completed long before then. And same thing with Chemistry HL2. They've got experiments to do, so they need more time for that lab work. And so they'll have that all done long before the deadline comes to turn it in. We'll have IB exam review sessions, just like we do for many AP classes here at Granite Bay. So if a student has an HL2 course in the fall, they'll have review sessions in April or May to prepare for exams. And we'll also do the same thing for anyone taking world religions and business management classes in the fall, they can attend review sessions in the spring. We're also adding another science HL course. So previously we only had chemistry as an HL, a higher level course, but starting next year we will have IB sports exercise and health science as an HL as well as an SL. Uh, HL1 and 2 will both be offered next year and that means that if a student is not a diploma program candidate, which is the one the students who are taking all seven classes over the two years. If a student's just doing a la carte or certificate of merit, they could finish HL1 and HL2 next year, uh, whether they're a junior or a senior. Uh, we, and as I said, we're also still offering the SL versions of the class in the fall and the spring with SL1 and 2. There's also a video available from Ms. McKean. She is the person who started the Sports Exercise and Health Science program here at Granite Bay. And so she's done a really uh, clear, thoughtful video explaining the differences uh, so those students can decide whether they want to take the SL class or the HL class. We will also have multiple periods of language and literature HL1 available next year, and that will allow students again to be able to avoid that singleton problem where they might have been able to take language and lit, but then they weren't able to take another class they were interested in. Uh, and the language and literature HL2 class uh, will still be scheduled in one period. So that class will still be a singleton, but we're able at least to open it up for the juniors. Uh, we've made exam changes this year that we're continuing. So our exams and fees are no longer required unless students are pursuing the IB diploma or the certificate of merit. Uh, 
Please remember that if you don't take the exams, that you cannot earn college credit for your course because IB gives the score just like with an AP exam and then AP gives a score, IB gives the exam and then the score. And that's what gets you college credit when you go to university. And we will continue to offer financial aid to those students who do want to take exams. There will be more changes coming up, but it's too early to talk about those now. So do check back in the spring about other things that we might be changing to open up the schedule to allow students to not have so many conflicts as they've had in the past. Thank you very much.